There's some things they just don't teach you in school. Like knitting. Oh yes, knitting. So many of you take knitting for granted. They think, oh, it's just something that old ladies do. Well, true, but have you ever thought of how much smarter old ladies are than us? They are. If you want the job done right, do it yourself. If you want to be all manly or cool or whatever, and you don't want to learn how to knit, <laughs> go get hypothermia, I don't care. But for the rest of you, let's learn how to knit. First, let's learn how to cast on. I make a little, tiny little knot so that it's like a little hole. And then put the needle through it. You take your two fingers, you put it around your two fingers and over the needle. Around the fingers, over the needle, pull. Around the fingers, over the needle, pull. So on. Let's start with this. Now, the first row, you have to make sure you don't pull your needles apart because then you'll have giant like pieces of string hanging out and that's always a little weird. But if it's your first time, you can just tie on tassels or something if you're doing a scarf, which I recommend for the first time. You start under, around, pull it through, and up. Under, around, through, and up. Pearl is the opposite of garter, basically. You do it on the other side of the needle. So you go in like this, and around, and under. In like this, around, and under. You also have to make sure that the yarn, this time, is on this side. When you do purl, the string should be on your side of the needle, but with garter, it's on the other side of the needle. For example, if you're switching back and forth between purl and garter, when you do purl, you have to have the yarn on this side. When you do garter, you have it on this side. And then purl, switch it back the other way, and then garter, through, around, and through, purl, switch it back, through this, around, and under, and then garter, switch it back, through, around, under. If you are really into this, let me tell you, the first time you do this, it is not gonna be pretty. My first scarf, I dropped so many drops, stitches, it looked like not a scarf, let's just put it that way. So, you need to be patient. You can't be that person who's like, well, if it's not right the first time, I'm just not gonna do it. You've got plenty of time. So, if you wanna learn, you can alternate once you get really into it. If you do purl, garter, purl, garter, by row, so like this row is garter, this row is purl, next row garter, next row purl, you can create stripes, and on one side it'll be the inverse, and on the other side it'll be like this. Or, if you get really fancy, you can do something like this, where you create like little fish scale patterns by going back and forth each stitch between girl, uh, purl, garter, purl, garter. Um, so, it's really fun, but you need to be patient. Now, I'm going to teach you to cast off. So, this is how you cast off. Let's do it with garter, because that's the simplest to begin with. So, you do one stitch, two stitch, and then you take this and you go under that one and you pull it over. And then you do another stitch. And then you pull this one over.
so now you got this little thing. What I do is I cut and then I tie it. And I just trim it just a little bit. Now this thing looks gross. But you can make a pretty cool blanket if you take different yarn make squares and then you sew the squares together it's very fun very 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 fun and yeah 